All right. Thanks, Justin. I can tell you right now that smells really good. We're getting a little hungry over here. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. All right. Joining us now is one of the young stars of Notre Dame's women's soccer team, Corbin Albert. Welcome to Notre Dame Day, Corbin. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we're happy to have you. And what can you tell us about growing up in the North Chicago suburbs, Grays Lake, Illinois? Now, you were raised in a very athletically talented family. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, I grew up youngest of six children, and we did everything together. We played sports, we played soccer, and just having brothers and sisters that played soccer too, they could tell me little tricks and skills here and there, and I'd just pick up on it and play in my use those skills in my own game. Um, it was just great growing up there. Um, There's a lot of soccer opportunities too, mm -hmm. different clubs and different places I could go play. So. Oh, sounds like a lot of fun. And, of course, you were highly recruited as a young soccer player, one of the top players really in the country. So what attracted you to Notre Dame? I would say the two things that attracted me to Notre Dame is the sense of community and friendship. I remember being a young recruit and coming here and watching one of the practices um, the girls had. And I just remember them practicing and having fun and laughing together and just seeing the community that they had with each other. And then once the whistle blew, they put their heads down, went to work. And that was something that really um, talked to me because that's something that I like to do is put my head down, go to work, but also have fun while doing it. Yeah, work hard. And the decision you made um, to actually leave high school a year early when you enrolled this past fall as a freshman at Notre Dame. So why did you make this decision and how were you able to kind of make it all work academically at your high school? Yeah, so I went to high school at Classical Consortium in Barrington mm -hmm. and it's a program that graduates you in three years, three to four years. And I ended up graduating in three years, and I decided, why not go to college early? Why should I wait around and wait for college to come to me? I'll go to college and have fun while doing it. So I wanted to challenge myself um, in soccer, too. So I decided to go early and challenge myself in every way I could. Yeah, and you wasted no time making your presence felt in your first season for the Fighting Irish. You finished second on the team and fourth in the Atlantic Coast Conference in, um, in goal scored for a team that finished in the Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament, and that's in part to you as well, so congratulations. And yeah. you were recognized as one of the top freshman players in the country, and to think you should still be in high school. So how are you able to step right in and make such a major impact so quickly? That's very impressive. Yeah. I would say it's my love for my teammates yeah. um, on the field, especially. When I go on the field, I want to do the best for them and do everything I can to win the game. And another reason I could step on the field so quickly in the college level is all the levels that I played back at home. I played with men's team and older boys team. When I was six, I was playing U12 against boys. So it just really prepared me for where I am today. Yeah, and I know that over winter break, you had this opportunity to take a little trip with your club team, the Cleveland Ambassadors. Where, so where exactly did you go? And more importantly, what did you do? What did you learn throughout that experience? Yeah, so we went to Liberia. It's a small country in Africa. Um, we went there as a mission trip to spread the gospel through playing, playing soccer. And we ended up succeeding in that. A lot of people ended up um, converting to Christianity and um, converting to like, Catholicism. And it was just an amazing experience. I learned a lot while going there, just like being grateful for the little things that I have at home and just seeing that the Liberians don't have a lot themselves, and I just need to be grateful for what I have, too. Yeah, it's so important to have that experience. Mm -hmm. And now one of your teammates, Sammy Fisher, was just drafted by the Chicago Red Stars. So how big are your dreams for the future in your career? I don't necessarily have dreams. I have goals. Um, <laughs> I realized very quickly that dreams can be crushed, and I think that goals are way better for myself just so I can set myself out there and really go after them. But one of the biggest things I want to do is play professionally in Europe, um, mostly on like the, the Brazilian national team, mostly because um, one of my favorite soccer players plays on that team. So. That's a pretty big goal. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And you've had one of the greatest freshman seasons really in Notre Dame's legendary history. Let's talk about what's next. Honestly, I don't know what's next, but I'm just going to take it one step at a time. Um, for right now, hopefully I'll be able to play on the national team, and I'm looking forward to the fall, fall season. All right. Well, Corbin, thank you so much for thank joining for us on Notre Dame Day and sharing your story. Okay, coming up next, Justine, has the bus chosen the winning sandwich yet?